Hello boys and girls, welcome back. As promised, I have another uh, Francis book from the Bread and Jam for Francis series written by Russell Hoban and illustrated by Lillian Hoban. And this one is called A Birthday for Francis. Do you think it's Francis's birthday or do you think she's going to a birthday party? What do you think? Let's find out. It was the day before Francis's little sister Gloria's birthday. Oh, so it's Gloria's birthday. Mother and Gloria were making place cards for the party. Francis was sitting in the closet singing. Happy Thursday to you. Happy Thursday to you. Happy Thursday, dear Alice. Happy Thursday to you. <clears throat> Who is Alice? asked Mother. Alice is somebody that nobody can see, said Francis. That is why she has no birthday. So I am singing Happy Thursday to her. <clears throat> but today is Friday, said Mother. Oh, it's Thursday for Alice, said Francis. Alice will not have H-R-N-D. What is H-R-N-D, asked Mother. Cake. I thought you knew how to spell, Mother. Alice will not have cake because she does not have a birthday, said Francis. Alice has one birthday every year, and so do you, said Mother. Your birthday is in two months, Francis, and then you will be the birthday girl. But tomorrow is Gloria's birthday. That is how it is, Alice, said Francis. Your birthday is always the one that is not now. Wouldn't you and Alice like to come out of the broom closet and help me make place cards, said Mother. What are you drawing, Francis asked. Pretty flowers, said Gloria. Rainbows and happy trees. Francis began to draw and sing. A rainbow and a happy tree are not for Alice or for me. I will draw three-legged cats and caterpillars with ugly hats. Francis stopped singing. Gloria kicked me under the table, said Francis. Mean Francis, said Gloria. Gloria is mean, said Francis. Gloria hid my pail and my shovel. That was last year, said Mother. When Gloria is mean, it is always last year, said Francis. But me and Alice know S-M-F-O. Smofo? I don't think that's a real word, do you? <clears throat> what is S-M-F-O? Asked Mother. Better, said Francis. Goodbye. I will be out of town visiting Alice. Francis went to the broom closet, took out her favorite broom. Let's go, champ, she said. I'm ready to ride. Francis was riding back and forth on her broom on the porch. As she rode, she gave a, sang a song for Alice. Everybody makes a fuss for birthday girls who are not us. Girls who take your pail away and eat cake and QPM all day. Is QPM ice cream? Mother asked. Yes, said Francis. I don't think QPM is how we spell ice cream. Francis climbed up on one of the porch's rocking chairs and looked through the window at all the boxes Mother was wrapping. What is Gloria getting from you and from Father for her birthday? Francis wanted to know. A paint box and a tea set and a plush pig, said Mother. I am not going to give Gloria any presents, said Francis. That is all right, said Mother. Francis began to cry. What is the matter, said Mother. Everybody is giving Gloria present but me, said Francis. 
Would you like to give Gloria a present? Mother asked. Yes, said Francis. If, if I had my next two allowances, I would have a nickel and two pennies, and another nickel and two pennies, and I could buy a chompo bar and, and four balls of bubble gum for Gloria. I think it is very nice of you to want to give Gloria a birthday present, said Mother. And she gave Francis her next two allowances. That evening, Father took Francis to the candy store to buy a chompo bar and four balls of bubble gum, bubble gum to give to Gloria. As they walked home, Francis said to Father, Are you sure that it is all right for Gloria to have a whole chompo bar? Maybe she's too young for that kind of candy. Maybe it'd make her sick. Well, I do not think it would be a good idea for Gloria to eat a chompo bar every day, but tomorrow is her birthday, and I think it will be all right for her to eat. Frances thought about Gloria and the chompo bar, and while she thought, she put two of the bubblegum bars balls into her mouth without even noticing it. Two of the balls she got for Gloria. Francis chewed the bubble gum and squeezed the chompo bar a little. Chompo bars have nougat, caramel, chocolate, and nuts, said Francis. Probably Gloria could not eat more than half of one. Oh, I'm sure Gloria could eat a whole chompo bar, said Father. That is why it is such a good present. Yes, said Francis, and I spent two whole allowances on Gloria. Francis popped the other two gumballs into her mouth and sang. Chompo bars are nice to get. Chompo bars taste better yet when they're someone else's. You would not eat Gloria's chompo bar, would you? said Francis' father to Francis. Well, it's not Gloria's yet. Oh no. I can hardly understand what you are saying, said Father. Is there something in your mouth? I think maybe um, there's bubble gum, said Francis. But I don't remember how it got there. Maybe I should take care of the chompo bar until you're ready to give it to Gloria, said Father. All right, said Francis, and she gave the chompo bar to Father to take care of. Well, that's good. The next day was Gloria's birthday, and the party was that afternoon. The cake was ready, the table was all set, and Mother was making hot chocolate. There were little baskets of gumdrops and chocolate-covered peanuts for everybody. There were place cards and party poppers for Mother and Father, for Francis and Gloria, for Gloria's friend Ida, and for Francis's friend Albert, who was coming to the party as well. Albert was the first to arrive, and he and Francis sat down while waiting for Ida. What are you giving Gloria? Francis asked Albert. A tiny little truck, said Albert. I am thinking about giving Gloria a chompo bar, said Francis, but I'm not sure. I might, and I might not. I had to spend almost two whole allowances on it. That's how it is, says Albert. I had to spend all my allowance money on, your sis on my sister when she had a birthday. <sighs> Little sisters are not very much R-V-S-M, are they, said Francis. You mean good, said Albert? Yeah, that's right, R-V-S-M. No, they are not, agreed Albert. Little sisters can't catch. Little sisters can't throw, said Albert. They take your sand pail and your shovel, too, said Francis. I don't think many of them deserve a chompo bar. Oh, here comes Ida now, said Francis, and the party can begin mother said. When are the presents? 
said Gloria. First, said Father, your mother will bring out the cake, and I will light the candles, and we will all sing happy birthday to you. Then you'll make a wish. Then you get your presents. I know what to wish, said Gloria. Oh, don't tell it, said Ida. It won't come true if you do, said Albert. Here comes the cake, said Mother. She put the cake down on the table and Father lit the candles while everyone sang, Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Gloria. Happy birthday to you. Francis did not sing the words the others were singing very softly, so nobody could hear her. She sang, Happy Chompo to me. It is how it ought to be. Happy Chompo to Francis. Happy Chompo to me. Make your wish and blow out the candles, said Mother to Gloria. I want to tell my wish, said Gloria. No, no, said father and mother, and Francis, and Albert, and Ida. Just say it inside your head, said Albert. Gloria said her wish inside of her head and blew out the candles all at once. Hooray, said everybody. Now your wish will come true, said mother. This is what I wished, said Gloria. I wish that Francis would be nice to me and not be mad at me because I hit her sand pail and shovel last year. And I'm sorry about that. And I will be nice. <gasps> she told her wish, said Ida. Now it won't come true. Oh, I think it will come true, said Mother, because it was a special kind of good wish that can make itself come true. Well, said Francis to Gloria, I think your wish will come true too. And I have a special present for you. And I owe you four balls of bubble gum. Now it is time for presents, said Gloria. Yes, said Father. Father and Mother gave Gloria the paint box and the tea set and the plush pig. Albert gave her a tiny little truck. Ida gave her a little china baby doll. Francis had wrapped up the chompo bar in pretty paper and tied it with a ribbon. And now she got ready to give it to Gloria. What is it, said Gloria. It is something good to eat, said Francis, and I will give it to you in a minute. But first I will sing happy birthday to you because I didn't really sing it before. Happy birthday to you, sang Francis, and she squeezed the chompo bar. Happy birthday to you. But then she stopped and rested a little. You can have a bite when I get it, said Gloria. Well, that's nice of Gloria to share. Francis took a deep breath and finished the song. Happy birthday, dear Gloria. Happy birthday to you. Here, said Francis. She squeezed the chompo bar one last time and gave it to Gloria. You can eat it all because you're the birthday girl, said Francis. Well, thank you, said Gloria, as she unwrapped the chompo bar. This is a good present. And she ate it all because she was the birthday girl. The end. I hope you enjoyed this story, boys and girls. Come again real soon. Bye.